Now it's time to add a component list and the components to that list. For now, we're going to add only these three uh, components, but later I want to add the following. And why later? Because I want you to check out how can we add further material once we are in the simulation environment. So let's go to the simulation. Ensure you are right now in the physical property environment, which is this one. Go to component list and click add a new component list. You can change the name if you want. I don't recommend it. Probably you're wondering why do we want to have several component lists. Those are for more advanced simulations in which you have several fluid packages for several type of component lists. But for now, I think that one component list is good enough. So how do you search for components? Yeah, maybe right now it's very easy because methane is right here. Actually, you can just select it and add it. Maybe you want to add it. You can also select several type. If you want to add, I don't know, N1 to N10, you can do it simultaneously or click in control. You can add several of them. Right now, I just want to add also isopentane. So double click it will do as well. Let's assume that we don't find our third component. You can search it here either by filtering you know this is a hydrocarbon you want to filter also by for search by formula you can do it let's see if c12 h 26 yes you can find it here ada cane that's the strange name but you can find it as well or simulation name if you have a specific name you can do it as well i will simply go for and let's go for formula C12H26 and we have several of them B exil, D exil, N the decane, other cane and C12. So that's very interesting guys. Now the problem right here is that this will assume a linear chain and these ones are kind of isomeric so the one that I would recommend you will be the one which is here. So NC12 and probably, and that's up to you guys, you will need to add all the other ones and verify their boiling points, their densities, their molar weights and ensure that they are similar or if not equal. If they're equal, that's common in databases. You have several databases depending on what you are using. But for now, these three are good enough.